Why am I not paying to see Avengers Endgame? Because of Brie Larson. I've been looking forward to this movie every single day since Infinity War came out. Every single day. That is, until Captain Marvel came out, or more specifically, until Brie Larson, the actress who plays Brie, uh, Brie Larson, until she started opening her mouth, flaunting her ignorance to the degree where we can't even see her as a character anymore other than an obnoxious bitch. Similar to when Tom Cruise decided to start being an asshole, and it was impossible then to see him as anything but that. Captain Marvel was not a hiccup in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It was a stroke. The success of Captain Marvel means that Brie Larson will be getting worse. She's, gonna, she's not going to shut up for a long time now. That bitch has almost explicitly stated that her movies are not for white dudes. Fair enough. So Avengers Endgame is not for white dudes. So I'm not invited. I'll just consider it like that. I probably would have seen Endgame like tw at least twice in the theater and would have raved about it to everybody I know. But now I won't. I'll wait to see it. I'll, I'll download it illegally like everything else. I'll see it. I, I still want to see it, but I'm just not going to... In good conscience, I can't pay to see it. And going forward post-Endgame, uh, instead of having people like Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans and Scarlett Johansson as the face of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as the uh, flagship characters, instead we've got this arrogant bitch. <laughs> we've got her face going forward. Uh, good luck with that. I'm not on board. I probably will have zero excitement about what's to come. Uh, they would have to... Yeah, it's pretty bad. Why do I dislike Brie Larson so much? It's not because she's a woman. I like lots of women, and I have respect for them. Um, it's not because she thinks women are better than men, because I know lots of girls that think women are... In fact, I even think women are better than men. I have no problem with that at all. I have no problem with any beliefs at all, no matter how much I'll disagree with them. If anything, I have more respect for people who have extreme uh, unpopular beliefs or irrational beliefs. I, I I prefer people who believe strongly in things. The reason I hate this dumb bitch is because she's dumb and because she's a bitch. Okay, to d elaborate on dumb, she's just stupid. You can't really elaborate on that. But in terms of being a bitch, okay, she's a moral authority. That is sickening. I suppose she wouldn't be a moral authority if she was talking to a black woman. She'd probably just squirm a lot and try to leave. But when it comes to... She tries to be a moral authority when, whenever a man is around, especially a white man, right? And moral authority basically just means you think you're perfect. Most people are humbled, humbled by the mistakes they've made and by their flaws. You know, I'm a little bit racist sometimes. Uh, I uh, am insulting to women at, at times. And that humbles me and I don't try to act like I'm better than anybody as a result. Brie Larson has none of those problems because she never has, she's never had a feeling of racism ever in her whole life. Uh, she has no negative feelings at all. No, no flaws in her feelings or her thoughts or anything, right? You'd have to think like that to take such a stance as being superior to others. And you put yourself under a microscope when you go around judging everybody and payback's a bitch, the dam will break and there will be a reckoning it's going to be a rough time for Brie in the future. She can't see it because she's retarded. But yeah, it's going to be, there's going to be a really dark time ahead for her. I mean, if she even has one skeleton in her closet, like if anybody ever finds out that she used the N-word ever, she's screwed. Uh, and you know who else was a moral authority? Bill Cosby. Other moral authorities, such as, of course, Bill Cosby and Oprah Winfrey, they at least have some intelligence or talent Brie Larson is functionally retarded. She's, she's at the level of like a 12-year-old. A That's why in interviews, she acts exactly like a 12-year-old trying to act like an adult, saying things that they think an adult would say. Uh, it's like a, a kid wearing their parents' clothes. When she gets offended at people, like the way she got offended at Chris Hemsworth, it's like she's getting offended because that's what she thinks a morally superior person would do. Not because she's actually offended. The, the funny thing is, is that a morally, 
a real moral authority wouldn't get offended by anything. You think Gandhi got offended by stupid jabs that people might take in an interview? No, he had a higher agenda, such as saving a whole country. I'm pretty sure her stupidity is what bothers me the most, though. Um, just like Holdo, Admiral Holdo. Uh, who would care? That, that picture of her with her arms crossed, looking like um, disappointed in everybody... It wouldn't be so bothersome if she was smart and she was doing clever things all the time. You'd, you'd, be, you'd be totally cool with that pose. But it's the fact that that's all she does. She doesn't even do anything. She just scowls all the time. What a buzzkill. And that is why I am not paying to see Avengers Endgame. Thank you for saving me $30, Brie Larson. If you support gays, click like. If you respect blacks, comment. If you think women are people too, click the notification bell. And if you care about sick children, subscribe.